Cleaning your face with oil might sound a little off, so I'm going to break down exactly how this works, the science behind it, but also how to make it work for you, especially if you have acne prone or sensitive skin. So there's a lot to cover, so let's just get straight into this video. Hi guys and welcome to Holidays. I'm Elise and today I'm going to show you how to make your own personalized oil cleanser. So oil cleansers essentially just use beneficial oils that can penetrate deep within to your skin's pores and dissolve any grime and buildup, including makeup. Makeup is like the problem child of skincare. I mean, you love it, but at the same time, you wish it would do better, especially when it comes to makeup remover. Now I have actually made a tutorial on how to make an oil-free, all natural makeup remover and wipes, and that will be linked above. So definitely check that out and subscribe to my channel for even more DIY natural skincare. But for this tutorial, I'm only going to be focusing on using oil Oil to cleanse your skin. Oil cleansing is based around the scientific principle that light dissolves like. So water and oil don't mix and that's why water by itself is actually unable to clean your face and it needs to be paired with cleansing agents in order to break down makeup, oil and other residue. But with oil, oil naturally binds to other oils and impurities making it super easy for it to unclog your pores, break down makeup without the use of cleansing agents. And this is usually why your skin feels so soft and not dried out after you've used an oil cleanser. It doesn't have any additional cleansing agents in it and you're just using the natural properties of oil to dissolve and break down other oils on your face. Now I do talk more about cleansing agents in my wallet soap video linked above so do check that out if you're interested in knowing more information on how to clean your skin effectively. Oil cleansers are super popular at the moment and there are loads of testimonies about how they've cleared acne and they're great for sensitive skin. But on the other hand, there are loads of people who actually break out from using them. But I think I've managed to find the perfect solution so stay tuned for that. However, this is an oil cleansing tutorial, so how about I get straight into showing you how to make your own oil cleanser. In addition to their natural cleansing abilities, I've chosen oils that have amazing benefits for the skin, but are also light and easily absorbed to avoid clogging pores. Measure out grapeseed oil, jojoba oil, rosehip oil, and lastly, for our antioxidant to stop our oil cleanser turning rancid, vitamin E oil. Check out my description box below for other oil alternatives for specific dry or oily skin needs. Next, we just need to pour all of our oils together and mix until they're well combined. Grapeseed oil has high amounts of omega-6 fatty acids that's great for controlling acne and unclogging pores. Jojoba oil is the most similar to our skin's natural oil, so it absorbs into our skin, hydrates and balances oil production. Rosehip oil has natural rejuvenating and skin brightening properties due to its high levels of vitamin A or retinol. And vitamin E oil is well known for repairing damaged skin and helping with hyperpigmentation. This oil cleanser is very potent and therefore you won't need to use much. Try to use bottles with a pipette dropper to make it easier to control how much you use. Pour the oil cleanser into your bottles and you're ready to go. And now that you've made this awesome cleanser, here's how to use it. The traditional oil cleanser method is three simple steps. First, apply the oil cleanser to dry skin. Now I prefer to remove my makeup first with a wipe to make it easier. I have a tutorial on how to make your own natural makeup wipes that are very gentle to avoid damaging your skin, so click the link above for that video. Next, take a small amount of your oil cleanser, rubbing the palm of your hands together and then massage it into your skin. Do this for at least one minute to ensure that the oil has time to break down any remaining makeup and impurities. Finally, use a damp washcloth to remove the remaining oil and you're done. Now 
Now, if you've had a great experience using oil cleansers, they work perfectly for you, and you have a problem-free skincare routine, then you can, of course, just stop watching here. However, if you've tried to use oil cleansers in the past and they just don't seem like they agree with your skin, but you still want all of the amazing benefits, then keep watching. The problem with oil cleansers comes back to that original principle of like dissolves like. So once the oil cleanser's done its magic, it's broken down all of the dirt and impurities on your face, what happens to the oil cleanser itself? How do you get rid of that from your face? The oil cleansing method just uses a damp face cloth and you gently use that across your face to get rid of the excess oil. But that method relies heavily on using water and water doesn't dissolve oil. So effectively, the oil is still present on your face. And that's where the oil cleansing method can cause problems for people. If you've noticed that you still maintain breakouts and rashes after using the oil cleansing method even though your skin appears to feel moisturized it's because that excess oil is still on your face for some people it doesn't seem to cause them any problems whatsoever but if you do have sensitive skin and you don't like having excess products on your face even if it has broken down all of the impurities you will still struggle with breakouts and other skin irritations because of the oil cleanser itself so you're kind of left in a situation where yes the oil cleanser did actually break down the makeup and excess dirt on your face but the oil cleanser itself actually bothers your skin because it still remains on your face and simply using a damp face cloth after that isn't enough to get rid of that oil but there is a substance that can effectively cleanse your skin soap Now stay with me because I know it seems like we're back to square one by just using regular cleansers on our face. But the problem that most people experience with regular cleansers is that they're just too harsh. Oil cleansers is a much more natural and softer way to rid your skin of excess impurities. But you can't have residue oil on your face, particularly if you do have sensitive skin. So what you need is a very mild cleansing agent just to wash off the remainder of the oil. And this is the secret to the perfect combo two pronged attack that completely cleanses your face in a very soft, gentle way without leaving any sort of irritation or disrupting your skin's natural barrier. So like before, I'm going to use a natural makeup wipe to take off any surface makeup before applying the oil cleanser. I just find it a lot less messy this way. If you use the oil directly on the makeup, it gets all over your hands and honestly, it's just kind of gross. Then take a couple drops of your oil cleanser in your hands, rub them together and then massage into your skin. Now instead of using a washcloth, Apply a small amount of a gentle face wash to your hands and then massage into your face. Then take the damp washcloth and lightly pat your face dry. You can see just how effective this way of using our oil cleanser is by looking at this cotton pad. See, it's completely clean and my face feels soft and moisturized even though it's just been thoroughly cleansed. There are actually several mild facial cleansers, many of which are natural, that you might have used in the past but because they weren't able to effectively remove stubborn makeup stains, you dismiss them. But they are absolutely perfect for this method. We're going to use the oil cleanser's natural ability to break down really tough makeup stains like waterproof mascara or sunscreen or other types of hard to remove impurities and then you go in with a very light mild cleanser to simply wash everything away. That way your skin's natural barrier still remains intact. You don't have to use any sort of heavy exfoliation like you might traditionally have to do with water-based cleansers. And above all else, you get all of the amazing benefits of a deep penetrating oil, but without any of the excess. Using this two-prong tag team attack is the secret to the best cleansing skincare routine that doesn't leave your skin feeling like a plucked chicken. <laughs> Why chicken? I don't even know where that came from. And if you guys want me to do a tutorial showing you how to make a very mild natural cleanser that will work in conjunction with your oil cleanser, then definitely give this video a thumbs up and or leave a comment down below to let me know that you're interested. Oil cleansers are one of the most gentle ways to break down oils, stubborn makeup, and various other impurities that are on your face. So I hope by watching this video, you feel a little bit more confident in not only making your own and also how to incorporate it into your skincare regime. 
I'll link my natural DIY skincare playlist at the end of this video and subscribe for even more natural DIYs, tutorials and delicious recipes. Thanks for watching! Have I convinced you to give oil cleansers a try? Let me know in the comments down below and check out this playlist for even more natural skincare.